we moved to Leander, I found that I didn't have time to paint every morning uh, at my studio, and so I was riding the bus to and from my job at University of Texas, and so I created this, um, I call it a watercolor lap easel, and it gives me an opportunity to um, paint while I'm on the go. I can sit in a car or any place, but most of the paintings that I am now enjoying um, selling greeting cards and things like that with are ones that I painted during my commute time to and from work with my watercolor lap easel. Being on the bus uh, was definitely a different experience and so the first time that I got on the bus and I had my little lap easel and wanted to do a painting, I realized several things that I had not thought about before. Is One, it was going to have to come out of my imagination. I was going to paint things that I knew very well, that there was, I didn't have to wonder what does this look like. I didn't have any models sitting there waiting for me to paint them. And so I first put in the watercolor just design, just painting like a flower. And that the first thing I ever did was a flower or a face, I'm not really sure. I think it was a flower, it was a geranium. And I thought, that looks unfinished, it's not quite right. So I got a pen out of my purse and started making shapes around the flower, petals and leaves, and, and, and but they didn't really have anything to do with the petals and the leaves. It was affected by the movement on the bus because the movement on the bus is jerky. It's not a smooth ride all the way. You get on 183 and there's a lot of start and stop for rush hour traffic on the way to work. And I found that that was the style that I had developed over literally just a few days. I had uh, several paintings that had a look that were a little bit alike. And so I figured I'd found my signature style of being a bus paintings artist, which a lot of people still call me the bus paintings artist. 